Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about points, lines, and planes. Um, and this section is going to be the very first section of the school year. When watching these videos, feel free to have some paper out, some, some, uh, something to write with, um, so you can follow along, write things down, and solve the problems with me. Or you can just listen and, and watch whatever, whatever it is that works best for you. So let's get started. We're going to start this unit by talking about vocabulary. Vocabulary is huge in this class. If you know the word, the representation, the symbol, the definition, if you know what you're talking about, it makes it a lot easier to set up a problem and be able to solve it. So these are some of the words that we were talking about in this, this beginning of the unit. We got point, lines, planes, intersections, collinear, coplanar, and then defined versus undefined terms. The only ones that I did not add in here are going to be your associated with collinear and coplanar. Now, collinear is when we have two or more points on the same line. You can also have points not on the same line. In that case, we would just have the word non in front of collinear. So non-collinear, meaning they're not on the same line. Similarly with coplanar, if we have two points or two lines or something that's on the same plane, when it's not on the same plane, we would again add non-coplanar. And that would be the two words that we did not put in here that, um, that we also discussed. So let's do some examples. Here we have a diagram on the right that we're going to be use, using to answer these three questions. And again, feel free to, re, to, to go back and refer to the vocabulary words if you're struggling with what they mean. But in this first scenario, we have collinear. Name three points that are collinear. So they are on the same line. And the only three points that are on the same line are going to be S, P, and T. Now, there's other points on the same line, but there are, there's only two of those. We're looking for three points that are on the same line. So for this example, we have S, P, and T. In the next scenario, we have named four points that are coplanar. Coplanar meaning they're on the same plane. So they have to share the same flat surface for them to um, be coplanar. And in that scenario, we have V, S, P, and T. Those are my four points. Notice how here on the right we have a lowercase m. That is the name of the line. So we have line m. There's no points associated. When it's lowercase and in script, you can say that this is the name of the line. Same thing with the N. Lowercase, meaning the name of this line. This capital R, there's no point associated with this, so that's actually going to be the name of the plane. This is plane R. Okay, so if it doesn't have a point associated with it, it's probably the name of that same thing. Lastly, name a point that is non-coplanar with points S, T, and V. So if it's non-coplanar, it, it cannot be on the same plane. And S, T, and, P, and V are on this plane that we see here, this flat surface. Notice how there's a line sticking out or going through it, okay? And point Q is nowhere near on this flat surface. So Q would be non-coplanar with the rest of the points. It comes down to vocabulary words, right? If we know what these words mean, it makes it easier to see what works and what doesn't work. Let's try one last example. All right, here we're going to use the figure on the right. We have two planes, a lighter shade of blue that is horizontal and a darker shade of blue, which is vertical. Okay, take some time to see it, to visualize it. We have plane A that is horizontal and plane B, which is vertical, and they intersect. Okay, so hopefully the darker shades and the lighter shades help you visualize where they're different from each other. And here we start by saying, Name the intersection of plane A and B. So we're looking at where do these two planes intersect? Or where do they cross? What do they share in common? Where do they meet? And notice how here, I'm going to change colors for this piece. They intersect right here in the middle. Whenever two planes intersect, they will intersect at a line. So they actually in intersect at line K. That is the intersection of those two planes. Next, we have named the intersection of line PQ and plane B. 
So plane B is the darker plane. See how there's a B here? That's the name of this plane. Plane B is the darker one, and we're trying to figure out where does it intersect. Let's take this piece off. Where does plane B intersect line PQ? So PQ is going like this horizontally. Where does this intersect this other plane? And there's one point here in the middle where they cross paths where they meet, and that is point M. You can say point M or simply point oops. Man, that's terrible. One second. Point M. All right, well, hopefully, this has helped you review or, or better understand the topic for today. And in this 1.1 point signs and planes, if you have any questions, please comment below. Let me know if I can clarify anything. If you have further questions, you can always come see me in class. I hope this has helped. And as always, we'll calculate.